So I have these little candles, and I wanted to try to see if I could make one out of metal. So I have some investment casting that I actually bought a few years ago and only used once. There is a burnout process that I didn't follow. I weighed out the plaster and the water and mixed it together. I then used my vacuum pump to pull out the air bubbles after placing it into the vacuum canister. And oh boy, did I make a mess of this investment casting plaster. It's all over my floor and my bench. After I let the plaster set for about two hours, I then put it into my kiln to try to burn out the wax that's inside of it. And I didn't follow the directions, as I said. There is actually a burnout process to doing this. And I didn't do that. I just put it in there until the wax was melted out. Because it was still hot, I placed it into a canister and surrounded the investment with sand. Not only to lock it into place, but also just in case I over poured and spilled the metal everywhere. For this cast, I'm going to be melting down some pewter. Pewter is a low melting metal. I'm using a Hot Pot 2 Melter by Palmer. This is a very good melter for melting low temperature metals. With the metal melted, I am now going to pour it into the investment casting. Because the investment is hot prior to pouring the metal, and pewter is a low melting metal, the metal took forever to solidify. I let it set for about an hour, and it was finally hard. I then removed it from the bucket and dumped it into a bucket full of water to cool it down a little faster. But you can see it's already basically cooled down. Investment casting plaster isn't really meant for casting pewter. Because with pewter, since it's a low melting metal, you can just use silicone molds. I'm going to be removing the pewter from the mold. And this is where I can kind of tell that I didn't really give the plaster a proper burnout because it's still kind of wet. As I said in the beginning, there is a burnout process that needs to take about 24 hours to complete. So I'm just going to brush off any of the existing plaster with water with a toothbrush to clean it up further. And then once dried, I'll do more cleaning up with a wire wheel using my Dremel tool. So it didn't come out too bad, to be honest. Something I think that is very strange is the fact that the color of the metal is not a silverish color that the pewter is normally. Maybe that's because I basically baked the pewter for an hour. So this was a good experiment and I learned a few things doing it. Make sure to do the proper burnout process and don't use pewter. Use silver, gold, or copper, or even possibly aluminum.